y'all it is what's today today's friday yeah friday i just wanted to say that i hope everyone is out there being safe and healthy i've been watching the news non-stop like i have it playing all day when i'm just walking around hearing new things and i've noticed that a lot of young people are going to the beaches and parties and stuff like that. It's like, keep your young tail home. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the fault of the media because they kept making this like an old folks virus. That's all the young people got to hear. That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. I ain't watching no more news. That's all I need to hear is for the old folks. And then they just dart out. And now they're trying to tell them any age can get this and any age can die. And they're like, we don't want to hear that. That's not what you said at first. We're going to the parties. We're going to the, to the beach. We're going to the club. But now, now they're upset. That, that young people are not staying still. But I hope young people stay still. I hope everyone stays still, stay safe, stay, stay loving and caring and helping out one another. And to roll off of that part, um, I guess not just my video, but I guess a lot of YouTubers videos and just a lot of people in general were going shopping. I guess it's getting people worked up, like us buying a lot of things. And the main thing is toilet paper. Are we really fighting over toilet paper? Are we really arguing over toilet paper? Is toilet paper really like, like fire, like, um, like rumble in the jungle, like an earthquake? You know what I'm saying? Like, stop. And I guess it's because there, okay, there's people, there, there are, a few people on why they buy bulks of stuff. They don't just have to be toilet paper because now I see people doing that with formula and pampers and baby wipes. They're doing that. A lot of people are doing, I don't even want to say a lot because it's probably not a lot, but I know a good amount of people are doing that to sell it with a high price. And that's not what you do. That, that, that This is not the time that we need to be doing stupid junk like that. Buy it if you need it. Buy it if your friends need it and they can't get to the store so you're doing it for them. Buy it if your family members need it, if a neighbor needs it, you know, buy it. Or if just you need it, you know, buy it and then help others. You know what I'm saying? Don't buy it to jack it up the price because that means you don't need it because you're getting rid of it, like you're selling it. So, uh, that, now that, I'm watching this fire truck drive by <laughs> and that also ties in the word selfish. I haven't been really on YouTube lately. I've watched a few videos, but I haven't went into my account and, and like read comments and stuff like that or gave a heart or anything like that because it's kind of hard when you got two kids at home and you're trying to teach both of them. It's easy teaching a kindergartner. I don't know what it is. It's just easy, easy teaching Eddie. It is hard teaching Lizzie. She just got that now. But, and plus it's hard teaching two different grades so it's not like I could sit them together and teach them the same thing at the same time it's like I'm running over here teaching kindergarten I'm running over here teaching first grade running over here boop 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 boop, boop. and it's kind of uh, you gotta clean and then you gotta cook and then you gotta you know and then I'm helping my mom because she's working from home and I I'm like her tech support and then I'm like teacher mommy I'm like the the nurse the 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 guidance counselor the principal like it's like woo. but anyway um I was reading, this was, when was this? This was right after I made the video, because I put the video up late Sunday night? I don't know, but whenever I put the video up, the next day I was reading comments, and then I had stopped reading the comments. Um, so I haven't read the comments pretty much any time this whole week, but I was reading some where people were getting crunk about the whole toilet paper situation part of my video. I don't know about y'all, but it's just Eddie and I during the day. So it's just two people using toilet paper. And you know, kids love to ruin toilet paper. It was getting to the point where I told Eddie, don't use no toilet paper, I'll wipe your booty later. Because <laughs> he was just wasting it. Now we're adding two more people during the day to use toilet paper. And so it's four people using toilet paper all day. Then also, I don't know about you, but a lot of people are starting to say, what is coronavirus? Is it giving you diarrhea? Like, why do you all need all these toilet papers? I hope that's a man saying that. Because I don't know about you, but this woman right here, I use toilet paper every time I go to the bathroom. I don't use toilet paper just to poop. I thought us women are supposed to use toilet paper when we pee, too. If you ain't doing that, keep that to yourself. So it's going to go a little faster. Also, I'm the type of person that if I have and you don't, I share. I do that with family, friends, homeless it doesn't matter. Um, I've even done it so much my kids see it that my daughter last year helped a classmate because a classmate would just sit like this during snack time. 
like that. And Lizzie came home and she said, you know, one of my friends at school, she, um, she doesn't eat snack. I'm like, why? She's like, because her mommy can't afford to buy her snacks. Because she eats free breakfast, she eats free lunch, and she doesn't have snacks, so her mom only has to prepare dinner for her and her sister. So I hope, I really hope that they're, that, that they are taking advantage of the, of the, like, I guess they're like food banks or like food, um, food stations that, that the schools are providing. You go up there at certain times of the day and the school will provide you the lunch or the breakfast that they normally would. So I hope she's taking advantage of that. But, um, Lizzie was telling me that and she seemed kind of sad telling me that. I said, no, we're not going to do that. She's going to have some snacks. We provided snacks for that little girl. Did I talk about that on YouTube? No, because I shouldn't have to talk about every doggone thing. Like, do I need to give you my blood type too? Do I need to bleed so you can see it's red? You know what I'm saying? Then with giving things to homeless, um, I show my kids that I prepare bags and we give them to the homeless. You should see Eddie. Eddie, mommy, there's somebody homeless right there. Stop! I did talk about that on the vlog because I was trying to inspire others to do it. And a lot of people were inspired. But then there were some people who sent comments and also sent DMs and emails saying, you shouldn't tell people that you do that because it's not coming out of the kindness of your heart if you talk about it. You're doing it for show instead. So, you mean to tell me we're not supposed to talk about anything good? Like, what world are we living in? That's why people are so damn evil. Because no one is being inspired. No one is seeing example. You know? So then, I stopped talking about that. So then, when we, um, I, when we went to, not when we went, I'm seeing this guy staring at me, so that, that's why I'm like, can you please hear me walk by? When I did the video, the, the haul, I said to myself, I'm not talking no more about how I help people or when I give, donate, share, nothing. I ain't talking about nothing like that because I see it ruffle some feathers on some people. It inspires others, but then it ruffles some people's feathers. And so then I was like, okay, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to say anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a joke and be a smart and say I'm greedy. So in the video, I said, I want toilet paper. I want more. I have some, but I want more because I'm greedy like that. But I was trying to be funny. I guess people took it as seriousness and said, yeah, you're right, you are greedy, but actually you're selfish or some stupid junk like that. I had a couple of people calling me selfish. There's probably more in the comments, but I haven't read it, read the comments in like almost a week. I wouldn't say like a week, like three or four days. So um, there's probably more. There's probably people thumbs in those comments up and commenting right under, but I don't know because I haven't read it. But once I saw a couple of those, I said, no, I'm going to talk about this. We're not letting that slide by. And I know some people are like, don't talk about everything. So what do you want my channel to be about? Kicks and giggles, me just acting like a clown for y'all? No, I'm a human being. I get sad, I get mad, I get aggravated, I get concerned, I get worried, I get sleepy, I get hungry, you know? And I'm gonna show all aspects of that. I'm not just gonna be your clown, your entertainment for 10 minutes. I'm not doing that. So if something bothers me, I'm gonna talk about it. If you don't like it, you can tell when my voice gets a little, a little, and it start deepening, just click out. You're like, oh, Kim's getting serious. But then also, it's kind of weird because I was listening to the news and the pre I know I'm bouncing all over the place, but I was listening to the news and the president said, and and the vice president, they were also saying, and other people, like when he had the, like the doctors and stuff and the specialists coming up to the, the podium, they were saying, let's not all buy in abundance. Let's buy one week at a time. But then I thought about it. Five minutes before, you said we should all quarantine for two weeks. So how are we going to quarantine for two weeks, but you want us going out the house every week? So I feel that if anything you should buy for at least two weeks if you can now i bought for at least a month i this greedy selfish person ain't going back out to the store so when they supply when they restock go on out there because this one ain't going back out there i'm not running out every week so if i bought too much for your eyes to handle too bad <laughs> i'm not going out every week to the grocery store to keep putting myself in that in that situation my mom my son and I ran out to the store on the very last day that people were at work and at school in the state of Connecticut. I knew I was not going out on a weekend because everybody's home now. Everybody's going to be crazy. So I ran to all those stores because I knew, I knew right after I picked my daughter up at the end of the day, that was it. I'm not going back out there. It's hard to take two kids to the grocery store, especially ones that let them put their hands in their mouth. I'm like, y'all were little and y'all never put your hands in your mouth. Now y'all four and six and y'all love eating your hands like a kitty cat. I'm like, no. So that's why I have my son in the stroller 
and my daughter, she she all over the place. So I had to keep her at school because that was the last day of school. Now she at home for God knows how long because they said, just hit us with two weeks. We might see you in two weeks. Now I keep getting these emails and these and these notifications of we're gonna start putting them on online schooling. So that's telling me we may be out for the rest of the school year. So um, we went out to the store. I ran to store to store to store. They weren't that packed except for Costco. Costco's always packed. But it was a little crazy. And we walked our tootie pooties right back on out of there. There was other things that I could have got. But there was more frozen things that I could have got. But I said, I'm not standing in line this long. I need to hit other stores before Lizzie get out of school. And we almost made it to the end. And we got to the grocery store and I had to leave my mom at the grocery store to stand in line while we go to go pick up Lizzie. Then also, another reason why I'm not walking in and out of the store is because I have asthma. That's a pre-existing condition. I'm not running in and out of the store. I have asthma, so I am at high risk, okay? I'm at the high risk like the old people that everybody keeps talking about, I'm up there. Then I also have another pre-existing condition that attacks a major organ in my body. I'm not gonna talk about it right now because it's none of nobody's business to begin with. But I do wanna share a testimony. My sister said, share that testimony. I was having a conversation with her a couple months ago. We were going out together and she was driving her car and I was sitting in the passenger seat and I was just, blurting out a testimony to her and she said girl she was driving she said girl you about to make me cry and she was just driving like that she said you gotta tell you gotta tell you gotta tell that testimony you can't you cannot have an abundance a, a big you cannot have a big platform like that and don't and don't share your testimony so then i said i said i will i will the only reason why i haven't shared it by now is because i don't want you guys treating me like a baby I don't want to be like, are you okay? Like, if I don't vlog for a while, are you okay, Kim? What's going on? I need you to comment. I need you to reply. I just DM'd you. Can you send a DM back? Because you guys already get worried about me as it is. And I know some people are going to be like, she lying, she lying. Have you ever noticed this bracelet on my wrist? This my ID bracelet? It's funny how you guys never notice it. And I have links on it that say what my pre-existing condition is in case something happens to me and I can't speak and I need this to talk for me. It has my my name, my address, my insurance information. It has my two emergency numbers, my mom and my sister, it has the name of my children, the name of all of my, my doctors, including my specialists, and has everything that I need. So, but it's funny how you guys never notice this, but you notice Eddie's. Because people are like, what's that bracelet that Eddie wears? I don't know if you notice it because he's a kid wearing a bracelet and most kids don't wear bracelets. Or if it's because it's a bright color and mine is black. There's times when we when I do videos up close, I either just move this hand around. If y'all see me do that, I just move this hand around. Or I take it off and you don't see it. So I'm not going to run my tutti fruity booty out in public all the time. So if I want an abundance of toilet paper, this girl's going to get an abundance of toilet paper. How you feeling? Because I'm feeling fine. Then, what's the other thing? And if I want an abundance of whatever, what's so funny, people always talking about toilet paper, but ain't nobody talking about soap. Ain't nobody talking about deodorant. Ain't nobody talking about toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, mouthwash. Ain't nobody talking about hair grease, you know, edge control. Ain't nobody talking about anything. You know, I was making fun of the last two things. Because people gonna take that serious. What the hell, you need some, some edge control in a pandemic. I'm just being funny, you know, trying to make you laugh. <laughs> so, um, what'd you call it? See, don't get me worked up. Right here, how you feeling? But what I was gonna say is that you don't know a person's situation. You know what I'm saying? So when you see somebody buy in abundance, leave them alone. Because I got other people that I think about. When my sister and her husband and her son are running low on something and they can't get it, but I got it, guess who got their back? When any of the mom, the, we call them the bus moms, any of us bus moms, we, we, we coming short on something, we got each other's back. When I was unable to get Lizzie from the bus stop, one of them moms had my back. When um, my sister and her husband and her son need something, I got their back. When, they, when I need something, they got my back. My mom got my back. My mom got her sister's back. Her sister got her back. I, we've given away furniture. We've given away clothes. We've given away cars, appliances. So when one of us needs something, we got each other's back. So something as simple as toilet paper, yes, I'm going to buy a big pack of toilet paper if it's right there. Because it's not just for me and my household. It's for anybody that I know that needs help. You mean to tell me that I'm, that I'm, I'm going to help people but then I'm gonna be selfish on toilet paper. Just sit down, chill. Just, just sit down. I think I've been talking for way too long, way too long. And this is this 
part of the video is probably gonna piss people off. But as long as I talk and I explain myself and I let y'all know and I give you a little bit more of me each time I talk, then I'm fine with it. You guys could thumbs the video down. You could talk nasty. I'm not gonna reply to nastiness. You guys could argue with each other in the comments, which I advise you not to do because that's childish. But if you call me names, I will block you. Okay, that's what I said. We're, that's not what we do in this channel. Turn my video off if it's pissing you off. Unsubscribe if it's making you angry. Yell out loud to the screen. But what is the point of you calling someone a name? What is that doing for your life? So like I said, with my two pre-existing conditions, my behind is not going out there every seven days, like the government said, to go buy stuff. And other people are getting sicker. But then they say, we're getting sicker and sicker by the minute. There's more and more people in America. There's over 13,000 people sick with this condition and there's many people walking around with it and don't know they have it to carriers so if there's 13,000 people that know they have it and maybe another 20,000 people who are caring and don't know they have it you think I'm gonna go outside every seven days not I said the cat because right now I'm feeling fine and I'm not gonna get sick one day I will do my testimony and I will share this with you my other pre-existing condition <laughs> And I know you're like, you already told us it's PCOS. No, that's down in the in the baby the baby making parts. That ain't a problem. That's not what I'm talking about. And and plus the PCOS is not about this. You can't put PCOS on this. I don't think you can. I'm not doing that. Like I said, you don't know a person's story. And that's another thing. People who are couponers. You know, like the people who got their whole garage filled with a, that, that could open up a whole corner store? How much stuff they got? We always used to be like, show me how to do that. I want to do that. You inspire me. Where you get all those coupons from? Oh, you want to be like them. But now you're making fun of them? I'm not going to talk too long because I have to go out now. I ain't going to no store. I gotta go out and get Eddie's glasses. And I was trying to go out and get my prescription, but they told me that um, it's not, I can't fill it until Wednesday. And when I said, can I get a 90 day supply? Cause I'm tired of these 30 day supplies. I need a 90 day supply. And it took forever for my specialist to even approve that. And then he finally approved it, but didn't call me. So I called the, the, the uh, what's that thing? I called the pharmacy again and I told them, did they call you? They're like, yeah, they did call us, but we've been trying to put it through and your insurance won't approve it until Wednesday because that's when they feel that, that, the, that the supply that you have is up for a refresh, like a refill. So um, next Wednesday, I'm going to be going to get my 90-day supply and this girl is probably barely going to leave the house. How you feeling? Because I'm feeling fine. That's it. Yeah, Kim gets serious sometimes. I sure do. That's my that's my thing. And you know my voice got a little shaky when I talked about my testimony. So I got to get my mind together because I know I'm going to cry on that testimony. So, um, and it's going to be like a story time slash testimony. I feel that there's a reason for me having this many subscribers and not just to be goofy all day and go and do all that silly stuff.